guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. All right, so for today's video, I'm kind of excited. I've been thinking about doing this one for a while and I just haven't, but I'm ready to do it now. So for today's video, I am going to show you how to, I guess, change your nostril piercings. For some reason, people ask this a lot. I mean, granted, I get a lot of questions on how to change such and such piercing jewelry all the time. Conch is like the top one, septum is next, and then nostril is right up there. And I guess it's because there are different types of jewelry you can put in your nostril piercing. You can put nose bones, you can put L-shaped, and you can put corkscrews. I currently have two Lebrays in mine. I just found that to be easy. But the three most common are the nose bone, the L-shape, and the corkscrew. And so I'm gonna show you how to do those three today. I have personally never tried nose bones before just because they kind of terrify me. Like, I feel like they could so easily fall out. So that'll be the first one that I do. I am gonna change both of them so that you can see both left and right side. Perks of having both sides done. So I'm gonna start with the nose bone. I'm gonna then go to the L shape and then finish with the corkscrew. Kind of goes in progression of easiest to hardest. Sometimes corkscrews can be a little finicky. Corkscrews can also look a little different. Some are way more curved than others. The one that I have here is slightly curved. It's not as curved as it could be, but it's also not as non-curved as it could be, if that makes any kind of sense. So if you are interested to see how you can change your nostril piercing with ease, uh, keep watching. Also, before I even zoom in on my face, um, I apologize. My nose is probably like the driest part of my body. I have done everything with it. So if it looks like I'm flaky, it's because my nose is just forever dry, no matter what I do to it. So sorry. All right, so we're a little closer now. <laughs> you get to be up close and personal with all my pores. <laughs> Great. So I am going to go ahead and remove what I currently have in there. Again, I do have two Lebrays in there. They're interesting. They're they're like Lebrays, but they're the push kind. And so they're like perfectly fitted. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. I left a mark on my nose with my nail. I will say if you're interested in using a Lebray in your nostril, it can sometimes be a little, ew, it can be a little difficult to get in there just because you have to finagle it a little bit more. You have to finagle from the inside. I always say tweezers. All right, so both my nostrils slurry is out. Oh God, I have that weird smell that I mentioned in that video of nostril piercing pet peeves. All right, so I'm gonna start with my left side and I'm gonna start with the nose bone. So, nose bone that I have and it's trying to run away from me. Bitty. and it's a blue stem. So that is it. It's itty bitty. It's teeny weeny. But as you can see, so that is the tip of it. You can see how it kind of gets a little bit fatter at the end. That's what holds it in. And I don't even know if you can see the gem, but it's blue. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert it into my left nostril. You just line it up. Ta-da! Let me show you. On the other side, again, line it up with the hole, and push. Oh, they're actually really cute. I'm so terrified though, cause like when I feel it on the inside, it almost doesn't feel like it's come all the way through, but it has, cause I can feel the metal. But that's what scares me about nose bones is just, there's nothing holding them in except for like that little bigger bump at the bottom. And so, oh, but they're really cute though really cute and tiny. They're tinier than the ones that I had in. Maybe I'll go back to them. So that's a nose bone. Again, I'll, I'll take it out. Haha, -ha. it's really hard to see. These things are so tiny. But I'll show you again. Line up with the hole and just push on through. Not that hard. Getting them out is pretty easy. You just pull up. And you can feel when it when it starts to come out because you can feel the little bump. All right, so the next one is the L-shaped one. Sometimes L shapes are like a direct 90 degree angle. Sometimes they're they're more of a 45. Is that what it is? I don't know. I was not a math person. This one's not quite a 90 degree angle. It's more of a curve to it. And these are clear or diamond or whatever you want to call it. So with these, sometimes you'll find websites that say left side or right side, and it's like, they're all the same. They're all turned, like, it doesn't matter. So again, I will show you on the left side first. Um, again, 
you just line it up with the hole and then sometimes you have to like just follow through like that took nothing that was so easy the piercing like if you put enough force on it and i'm not saying like shove it like through your nose but if you put enough pressure on it it'll move its way through the hole so again line it up with the hole so it'll kind of be angled out but then if you put pressure it just goes on through taking it out also easy you, it's kind of like the nose bone you just pull and it'll it'll curve unlike the nose bone which just came straight out this will curve and come out so like here you pull up and then pull out i've had these for so long now that they're just like whatever i'll show you again line it up put it in and then push through oh god here we go yep they're really cute too they're really i like the smaller stones so and then when you're pulling them out you just pull up and pull out not that hard all right so finally corkscrews this is where it gets a little funky first of all let me show you what these look like so you can see how there's a little bit of a curve these also tend to be longer for whatever weird reason and this one has a green stone except for you probably can't see that but it's green but as you can see it's a little bit longer that seems to be a typical thing for corkscrew i don't know why but it just is so corkscrews are a little bit more fun um you it, it, it's different for both sides and so sometimes you will see left and right side on store sites for that so for corkscrews again you start by lining it up into your hole so if it's on the right side it'll face out depending on if you're able to select left or right side on the site it'll do the same for the left but for this purpose it's facing forward as you can see basically you just have to start feeding it through so i always move it up so like i always when i first connect it through sorry i'm gonna be picking my nose for this i always make sure to feel that it has at least come through the other side so then i push a little bit and as you can see it's it's like sticking up now and then I just follow through now this one is really long so like it's little peg thing is sticking out oh but the green is really pretty i don't like corkscrews because they just make my nose itch so i'm not a fan moving on to this side now because these are pretty much like the same i do this one a little differently like they are the same exact jewelry but because it's different sides they're gonna look a little funky so I line it up and put it in there but if you notice the jewelry is up against this part of my nose instead of this part whereas over here is against like this part so again you just follow through see now it's sticking up so the curved part has gone through and then you just push until it goes all the way through I just don't like corkscrews they stay in easier than the other kinds but they're just a pain in the butt I'm not a fan especially since now I don't know if you can see it but see if I can zoom in can you see how you can see it sorry you're gonna get all up in my nose right now see how it's like poking out I don't like that so I'm not a fan of corkscrew just for that reason alone but to take them out kind of the same thing as all the other ones you pull you just kind of have to finagle it a little bit just feel for where the curve is and then pull out same on this side pull up kind of wiggle it around until you feel that curve start to come out and then pop it out. let me show you one more time just for shits and giggles it's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits all right so it's in so to get it out you pull up you wiggle around a little bit until you find that curve pull that curve out and then pull it out I think I'm gonna put the L-shaped ones in for now just because I always feel more comfortable with them. So those are just, I don't know, just simple tricks for getting nostril jewelry in. Again, nose bones are probably the easiest. They're also probably the easiest to fall out. Whereas corkscrews are the more difficult ones to get in, but they're also the more difficult ones to accidentally rip out. I like the L-shaped ones, kind of middle of the road. They can get ripped out pretty easily, but at the same time, they're not as easily to do so as like the nose bone is. If you would like to see another video, perhaps where I show you how to do labrays in a nostril or like maybe hoops or something like that, let me know in the comments below or give this video, you know, a thumb up to let me know that. That'd be cool. If you'd like to see any other videos of me showing you how to change the jewelry in it let me know that as well in the comments below i'd be happy to do so but that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big ol 
thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys.